Now, heading into week five and six, Lincoln Riley knew how special of a player I was. With the ball in my hand, I was just electric. Just like somebody who used to play here by the name of Reggie Bush. I had the same similarities. And Coach said, hell, why not give this kid a shot? This kid is too electrifying and too just great of an athlete just, just to be turning punt and kickoff return. So, I ended up winning the starting running back one position. So, thank you, Coach. All right, what's up, guys? We are back with another video. We are, he put on 10 pounds, bro. Put on 10 pounds. He, you see, he changing that number to number eight to number five. Now, coming into this game, we got Arizona and we got Arizona State. Now, y'all see, bro, we are 110th in the nation, 130 yards a game. And being with this guy in the starting rotation, you see 231st in the country, 118 yards on the ground. This kid is too electric fine to be on, on the bench, bro. It, it, it's, it's just... It just can't happen. So Lincoln Riley gave this kid a fair shot. And based off these two games in this episode, y'all let me know. Should this kid be the running back one position moving forward? Caleb Williams to Rice. This is good for 18 on a play. First carry as running back one. Yo, he's looking like he can't be that guy. He can't be that guy. Jaheim picks up 30 on that last play. Second and five draw play. Not my favorite play to be called to be ran, but we pick up a first down pick of eight. First and goal pitch play. Now y'all know the speed, bro. The speed is just the speed is always gonna be there. As he gets his first touchdown rushing on the season, second and ten. A read option. And Kayla wins decide to keep him. He picks up six. As long as we moving forward, that's all I care about. All right, third and four. Pass protection, still without pass protection is looking like that pass is caught by Rice. And that is good for 11 second and goal. Nice check down on that goal. He fumbled it. Luckily enough, we fell back on the fumble. That could have been costly third and goal. Bro, I don't know what would how it miscommunication or something, but we end up getting three. Got a three point lead first and 10. And yo, that's crazy. Y'all seen on that last play, that's how we end up scoring. That's what, when we click on our all this USC is tough to beat, especially with this kid in the starting rotation. It's only gonna get more dangerous. Jordan Addison picks up 24 on that last play, first and 10, they are crowded in the line of scrimmage. And rightfully so, man, they go for negative four yard rush. Third and four, draw play, not like I say, not our favorite draw play, and they was ready for it. Back to back plays by the defense. We calling for the rock first and 10, and we break one tackle. Yo, let's go. That's what it added 10 pounds of muscles. That's when it comes into effect. That's what you like to see first and 10. Creeping out of the backfield again. We catch a pass, truck another defender for a first down. You love to see it. First and 10, read option. We taking a pitch, and this kid is just turning on the chest, bro. He had, he had to bulk up a little bit. Nice play right there. Well, y'all see, you know, you trucking two defenders on two previous plays, bro. So that 10 pounds of muscle definitely, you know, play an effect. Third and nine, trying to do everything we can to do with our speed. And we do not pick up the first down. We had to end up selling it for three. We are down by one. What a costly decision. That could have been game over for us. Second and 10. No costly decision, bro. We do not, we rank number 10 right here, and down goes Caleb Williams for a sack. Third and seven. We cannot let them pull off the upset. We just simply cannot. Third and seven, trying to keep the, bro, where is the pass interference? Jaheim is frustrated. Our defense came up clear second and 10. Calling for the rock, bro. We are open. We trying to take him out into our own hands, bro. We are trying to make sure that we do not suffer our first conference loss. Of the season, and that is nearly interception. Caleb Williams, what are you thinking? Fourth and five. That pass is caught in a first down to keep this game alive for us. First and ten. What a great catch, bro! Jaheim on any linebacker, they just a mismatch nightmare. Back to back catches. That's what you like to see. That's what you like to see. First down. And we end up getting subbed out the game because the fatigue was on. You know, Travis and I end up running in three yards. We were actually trying to go for two, trying to make it a seven-point game. Calling for the rock, and we are in the end zone. We got a seven-point lead. 
Now let's see our defense. I would not finna simulate this and they end up scoring somehow. We going to overtime. So I'm actually watching the play to make sure the defense actually batted down the intercepted or something. Emory Jones throwing it deep and that is batted away as we end up walking away with a dub. It got scary for a moment. It definitely got scary for a moment and that is the play of the game right there. Now let's go ahead and jump into game number two against Arizona. Now against Arizona row, we have we cannot take this team like this is one of the schools that potentially wanted him to come to the program. But ultimately, y'all know he chose Appalachian State in, in the transfer portal and bro, he is gone. <laughs> he is gone. That number five is is something. It gives him some kind of special powers or something. That is like Reggie Bush like. Yes, we still running punt returns and kick returns. Lincoln Riley has definitely given this kid the, the full the full keys, bro. Every key. You know, because this dude is just a Mitch Mace nightmare with the rock in his hand, bro. Good throw, good catch. Rice picks up 13 seconds and six. Caleb Williams, bro, what are you doing? Mario Winters ended up picking it up and he ended up scoring a touchdown, bro. I don't know what's wrong with Caleb Williams on that last play, but... I'm glad that Mario Williams in the right position to scoop and score it up. Actually, he picks up 10 yards on that last play. Second and six. Bro, you hit us in stride, bro. We streaking with the tight end. McCree picks up 13. Third and four. Calling for the rock. Third and four. And we do not get the first down. They actually challenging this. Y'all let me know what y'all think. If this was just like a, a real life situation, just, just think about it as real life, bro. Real life situation, that's that's not a first down. Look where his knee is at and watch where the ball is at. Not a first down. But we end up getting a first down out of that. But, you know, offense can do no with it. Third and two. Brace one tackle. It could not escape the second one. Second and ten. Nice hands. Pick up eight. We'll take eight, man. As long as we moving forward, bro. Mario wins with another catch. Pick up nine and move those chains. Second and ten. Why did we juke? We still pick up a first down, though. All right, second and nine. I told you, bro. He, is he on that linebacker, bro? If a safety corner, it don't matter. This dude is going to round him up. Not only just catching it, but running it also, bro. You just cannot get his kid uh, into space. You give him an inch of space, he taking that shit to the crib. Let's go. Mario Williams with a nine-yard reception. Second and goal. Let's see if we can make something happen with seven seconds left. Oh, he actually broke that tackle, and we do not have no timeouts. So we do not score before the end of the half draw play. Bro, I said it earlier in the video. By him switching to number five is giving him some kind of superpowers, bro. And yeah, one of the my subscribers actually, you know, he he is actually a four-two guy. Like seriously, a four-two guy. But this dude is just damn special. That's all it is to it. Yeah, big shout out to Shamar Baker, man. He, yeah, this dude, you could just tell this dude is, is definitely a four-two guy. Mid, you know, low four two. So that's definitely, bro. That's just taking candy from a baby, and he tried to tackle us, bro. Second and seven. That pass is caught. We we, we help out our teammate, bro. Just because we took over the running back one position, that don't mean we can't help out our teammate. And we do not pick up the first down. We gonna go for it. Lincoln Rand said, "Hurry it up, man." Also, I want to send a couple of shout outs, man. Duke to God, big shout out to you, YSN, over. Big shout out to you, Tay11K, big shout out to you, man. Nick Saban, big shout out to you. Jacob Henry, big shout out to you, man. Shamar Williams, Trey Clamp21, big shout out to you. Like I say, Beast Mode, big shout out to you. Shamar Baker, I know you're an OD subscriber, man. Corey Payne, Brian Rockmore, hope I'm pronouncing your name right, man. Big shout out to everybody, man. Quay, big shout out to all of y'all, man. Isaiah Ocean, hope if I'm pronouncing that right. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, bro. Gabriel Peoples, big shout out to you, man. I just had to send a couple shout outs, man, because y'all, y'all are the reason why you know this channel is is growing right now. But as you can see, we got a big lead, first in ten. Turn off the lights, go to bed early, smoke you on, drink you, whatever you want to do. This shit is a wrap, bro. 
This dude is clearly the next great running back at USC. That's all it is to it, bro. One cut and he's gone. He is gone. So big shout out to everybody, man. Like, comment, subscribe on the video. It's your boy, sorry. Logging out to next video, man. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all to life. And I'm up out of here. I wanna salute every nigga who run with me And it's a secret everything that you done with me Cause it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty Family